let's talk with the elephant in the room, and that is biases. Polling yes. data is full of bias. The results published are unreliable on this bias alone. Uh, again, politics, super biased, because again, now everything's political. Even Spider-Man, a Spider-Man poll, like we talked about earlier, that can be biased. So let me ask you straight up. Is it possible to conduct a poll without any bias? No. No, it's impossible, right? It's impossible. So how, <laughs> how can you... Can, how can you combat that bias in the best way possible? Well, you know, there's there's a few documented, you know, kind of industry accepted biases that that will come out of market research. You know, social desirability is one of them. You know, if you have a pollster come up and ask you a question, you may want to, you know, not say, well, yeah, I voted for Trump. Is that what you want to hear? <laughs> you know, or I voted for Biden. Is that what you want to hear? That kind of, of response from an individual. You know, so there's there's a lot of different biases in them. And um, most of them come from being face-to-face. -face. They come from, you know, your text message is tied to your identity, to your phone number which is tied to your address and your name and all those kinds of things. So, you know, what we do with Hubbub by enabling it through social media, we give you that opportunity to put on your social media persona and kind of, you know, uh, live behind that. You know, uh, like, like if, if you go on Twitter, you know, there's, there's people out there. I mean, you don't use your real name. Some people, some people don't. You know, some people are journalists or, you know, they're they're part of a company, you know, or something and they they use their their real names or their influencers or big celebrities or something. But, you know, if you want to go on Hubbub and you don't want to necessarily be identified by the masses as Michelle Hermes just but just not voted. Michelle Hermes just commented on the Hubbub app that you know, um, Spider-Man 2 sucks. And I don't know what Will is talking about. And all these How dare things. you, first of all. How dare I, right? <laughs> and then you would respond to me, right? How dare you, Michelle? No, I can hide behind my, my social media persona and you could say to me whatever you want. And the way that it works is, you know, if somebody is not facing you, and if somebody is not challenging you, you know, you, your identity, Will, Michelle, you know, whomever, then you're more likely to open up. You're more likely to answer honestly. You're more likely to give, you know, commentary that is, you know, coming from the way that you really, again, feel about the topic. Yeah, but you're also more likely to troll. Right. If there, again, if there's no no consequences, yeah. I could pretend to be anybody. I could say yes. my name is Ricky and I am a trans woman. And I'm just going to troll for the sake of trolling. So it's like, and is anonymity really the answer? Because like the problem with polls in general is you can't trust the source. So how am I going to trust yeah. the source if I'm relying on anonymous answers? Yeah, it's really hard. It's really hard, which is why I said you cannot take a poll without bias. And and you have to you have to build that in to just your way of thinking. You know, what Hubbub is trying to do is get not eliminate bias. There's no way to eliminate bias. We're trying to reduce bias. We're trying to give more accurate responses by reducing bias. So, you know, I mean, it's, it's something that's always going to be there. There's always going to be trollers. There's always going to be liars. There's going to be, you know, people that, that just want to say one thing and they, you know, but they really think another, you know, you can't control what, what people are going to say or do. And that's, you know, part of the beauty of our country, you know, <laughs> but, um, a amen to that. But, but couldn't, yeah. couldn't you also make the argument that smaller sample sizes is a way to eliminate bias? Even though, because it, it's just like, well, is the more people there are, the more likely there is to troll. So it's either smaller sample size to and like do it individually. It's like you can pull like demographics individually to solve this problem, as opposed to you doing it all together and then sourcing it out afterwards. It's that's more work up front. So it's like, how you as an owner of this app, how did you tackle 
Okay, I'm just trying to go through my mind right now and I'm losing my mind. So <laughs> how, would I know. You, how would you tackle all that? <laughs> it's an incredibly complex yeah. industry. It's a incredibly complex problem to solve. Can't solve all the problems. Doing doing my best to solve as many of the problems as I can. Biases is definitely the hardest problem that I face. Yeah. And this, as we all, so do we all though. So do we all. I mean, I mean, you you walk up to anybody and ask them a question, you know, or say I love your hair or, or whatever, you know, they, they're going to respond one way or another. It may be nice. It may not be nice, yeah. you know, but um, but yeah, I mean, it, you can't eliminate bias and as hard as you try. I mean, you you could speak to somebody just, you know, through a text message and and they're still going to be. Yeah kind of question there in your mind, are they really, you know, are they really feeling me? Are they really understanding what I'm saying? That's another kind of, of bias on the the part of the market researcher themselves, the the pollster, you know, are they asking the right questions? And I think the pollster also needs to be upfront about their own biases. Because if, if you're yeah. asking a question on Medicare for all or universal basic income or uh, oil and gas pump companies pumping more oil or fracking, you know, insert business idea here. If you're conducting that poll, I think it's important for you to be upfront about your biases. Like me personally, I'm, I think a UBI is a phenomenal idea. If I'm going to do a poll, I'm going to be like, Hey, here's how I vote. So, so, you know, like, by the way, this, this is what I think. Like now I am open to not having a desired result, and it's a scientific method that has that thing too. I forget what it's, I forget what it's called, but um, there's a, a the variable that accounts for your own bias and counteracting mm-hmm. that bias. So, is is there a way for a pollster, like if it's a major pollster, comes to you that there's an option for them to state their bias? Well, you know, they really shouldn't be biased. That's but we, but we established that's impossible. Because everyone, everyone they are, well, the respondent, when I say it's impossible, I mean on the respondent's behalf. You know, it's impossible for them to, for a market researcher to, you know, ask a question to a thousand people and expect to get no biased responses. But the researcher but can also, also be biased. But there's also the market researcher themselves can be very biased. They can be culturally biased. That's that's one of the one of the big ones that comes out. You know, um, you know they they may believe one thing and and be asking questions about you know this issue, this topic, you know, and they believe one way, but they've structured their questions in order to get answers that believe the way that they do. Yes. That's that's another bias, you know, on part of the uh, on part of the pollster, the market researcher. So, you know, when when we've got folks going out on Hubbub, you know, and they're posting their own polls, you know, we're uh, putting together some some help mechanisms. You know, how do you write a good question? You know, what what are ways to write good questions that take bias at least out of the question? 